Hello everyone, Daniel here. Hope you are well. Now today we're going to be doing um, a taste test on these hula hoops, uh, potato shapes. Uh, we've got two flavours, uh, salted and barbecue beef. And also space flavours. We've also got beef and also pickled onion. Now, I came across these by accident uh, when doing some research for um, a video I was doing uh, on uh, discontinued food brands and look out for that, that will be coming very soon. So I'm intrigued about these because I do like the hula hoops, I especially like the beef flavour, that's probably my favourite. So um, it's going to be interesting how they transition into uh, potato uh, products that uh, these ones say to grill. Uh, rather than fry, so we will do that and follow the uh, instructions to see how they come out. Um, Space Raiders I've eaten since like a, I was a child, so um, be interesting to see what they're going to be like. I think that they're going to be like uh, maybe the McCain Smileys. Um, it's going to be interesting how they do the pickled onion uh, flavouring on them. I'm looking on the back. Um, this doesn't really, oh citric acid, so you may be getting flavouring from that, um, dried garlic, uh, lactic acid, onion powder, so that's probably how they're going to get flavour into that one. Uh, the space food is beef. Um, not really much of a giveaway on there either. Uh, nothing indicates how they could get the flavouring. What about on the beef? It's on the beef and roots. Um, it's got yeah, dried onion, garlic, turmeric. So it's probably going to be for the colour. Give it its brown colour. And I'm expecting the hula to be quite crunchy, so they uh, represent the. Um, sort of, um, uh, it's crisp um, counterpart and these are exclusive to um, Iceland by the way as well so probably why I haven't seen them until uh, I went in there so what we're going to do uh, so 200 degrees celsius for 12 to 15 minutes and the space raiders are 15 to 20. So we will do some of them and then we give them a taste and uh, see how they come out. So I'm just about to put them into the oven. So they're the salted ones. They're the beef ones which you can see are a different colour and they have a slight uh, beefy smell as well. They're the pickled onion space raiders. They've got a slight uh, ironically, they've got a slightly uh, darker tone to the beef ones. Beef ones haven't got any colour in at all, so that's going to be interesting. Um, you can smell a slight um, sort of pickly smell if you smell the bag of the Space Raiders. Uh, so we're going to put them in 12 to 15 minutes for the Hula Hoops and 15 to 20 on the Space Raiders. Uh, and then let's have a taste afterwards. So they're now done, they've cold down a bit. Um, so these are the salted uh, hula hoops, these are the beef ones, these are the pickled onion space raiders, and these are the beef ones. Now, the um, hula hoop uh, salted ones, I'm expecting them just to be like, um, as if you put salt on your um, chips. Uh, they're a bit crispy. Not obviously as solid as hula hoops are. Um, yeah, a slight, a slight saltiness towards the end. I won't say as salty as they are at uh, the crisp version, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. But really, just reminds me of yeah, any sort of 
potato product you get a little bit of saltiness at the end now the beef ones I'm really intrigued by because of the colour and the smell so I'm hoping these have got quite a bit of flavour to them Do you know what? They're really nice. The beef is not overpowering, but you get that kind of. It does remind you, both of them actually remind you of hula hoops. But um, yeah, so those ones definitely um, a good replica, I think. Now, I'm going to try the Beef Space Raiders Yeah, you get um, despite their appearance you do get quite a bit of a beefy hit um, I think I probably prefer the Hula Hoops but like I said in the um, introduction, the um, sort of texture of the Space Raiders are just like smileys, McCain smileys. Let's try the pickled onion ones. It's got a bit of a hit, but not nothing compared to like the crisp version. I think they could have maybe made them a little bit stronger. But then maybe thinking about um, aiming them towards kids that they don't want to make flavours too overpowering. Yeah, you can sort of taste the onion, um, it's not too intense. I would probably say that the beef hula hoops and the pickled onion space raiders are my favourites. Um, I think they've done a good job overall of um, uh, making them from crisp form into potato form. It'd be good to see some other ones, maybe like Monster Munch or... Um, other flavours, maybe even like salt and vinegar hula hoops, would be interesting to see. Um, yeah, I definitely think that's a pretty good uh, effort. And they're exclusive to Iceland, whether they're coming to other supermarkets, um, time would tell. £1.50 a pack um, they were. And uh, what was interesting on the pack, it says uh, cook before eating. I don't think we're that either, we need to be told that, but never mind. So I hope you enjoyed that little um, taste test and I was pleasantly surprised by them. Um, if you've tried them, let me know in the comments what you think of them. Um, and yeah, what flavours would you like to see of Hill Hoops, Space Raiders or Monster Munch, like I mentioned, or what other crisps they could do into a potato form. Um, and I'll see you again for another video very soon. Please like the video so people can see it and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you to everyone that uh, has already, much appreciated. And uh, I'll put a link uh, at the end of the video uh, for a video I've done recently about making mashed potato out uh, of the crisps while we're on the subject of uh, potatoes. Uh, take a look at that, it's a very interesting uh, video. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye for now.